Welcome back to class, everybody. My name is Dr. Mary Kay Bakayao, and we will be looking at problem solving again today from chapter one. Now, we have a library of virtual manipulatives, and in that library, there is an activity uh, where we select a counterfeit coin. If you haven't done this one already, please try it before you see this video so that you can really experience that exploration and learning that really will strengthen your mathematical reasoning. Now, uh, we, can, we can use eight coins, nine, or 12 coins, or we can do a challenge one. Let's just start with eight coins. Our goal is to detect the lighter coin in the set of eight with just two weighings. So if we uh, would weigh just two at a time, we wouldn't probably uh, find it unless we were extremely fortunate. So let's try another strategy and let's weigh uh, three at a time. And then we have two left outside here that we're not going to weigh. Now let's see if these balance. I'm gonna click on weigh coins. Oh, it looks like we see that these over here are lighter. So that makes these coins not counterfeit. So one of the counterfeit coins must be one of these three here. So we know these probably are not counterfeit because uh, the one that's counterfeit is in here. So now we're going to separate these out and we're going to have these two here and this one out here. And hopefully we can determine which coin is lightest by weighing just these two. Okay, it looks like this red coin is the lightest. And these are the good coins. And yes, we're correct, and we did it in only two ways. Now let's, let's try a more challenging problem. Let's try 12 coins. And this time, we have uh, 12 coins. One is counterfeit, but it could be either heavier or lighter than the good coins. And they're giving us four ways to try and figure it out. So let's use that similar strategy for 12 coins. And we'll put four here. And then four coins here. And four coins not being weighed. And let's see what happens. OK. That means that the counterfeit coins are on the balance right now because one of them is either heavier or lighter and we don't know whether it's heavier or lighter. So we'll put these over here and now we'll separate these out into other groups. So since we have eight coins, we can have groups of three here and three here, and two not being weighed. So let's weigh again. Oh, it looks like they balanced. That means the coin that's heavier or lighter is not on the balance scale. So we'll consider these as not being counterfeit because they're all balancing. So here we have either the light one or the gray one is either heavier or lighter than the other coins. So let's weigh. Okay, it looks like one of them is heavier or one of them is lighter, but we don't know which one is counterfeit. So we'll take this off. This one is heavier. And we'll see if one of the good coins balances with this one. It doesn't balance. If it did balance, it would be uh, a good coin. So we know that this one is the bad one, and it's lighter. That's correct. You found the counterfeit in only four coins. Is it heavier or lighter? It is lighter. Yes, the counterfeit coin is lighter. So as you can see, we can use mathematical reasoning to figure out these problems. Uh. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.